My dream would be to visit Australia, play with the koalas. I picked to uh, go on a honeymoon to Mexico with my husband because we didn't get to go on a honeymoon. <laughs>
So we have uh, this evening tonight, it's called a Dream Tree Christmas event and uh, we encourage people to come by and write down uh, one of their bucket list wish on the tag and put it on the Christmas tree and we're going to have a draw later on for uh, uh, a contribution. We're going to make a uh, we're going to make a donation up to $1,200. How did this all get started? What gave you this idea? Well, we created the program, the bucket list program, three years ago. So we help our clients create their bucket list on paper, and then we help them manage their finances so that they can get to do many of their bucket list dreams. Right. Yes. Right. So tonight is the official launch. It's been a well-kept secret for the last three years, but uh, tonight we're hoping to let everybody know in the community that uh, what we're about and and uh, so that the people can realize that uh, financial planning can be fun. My name is Susan Conahan and on the top of my bucket list is repairing my greenhouse for the summer. Oh, what happened to it? <laughs> it's just um, suffered s some damage from previous storms and it's getting old so it needs a new roof but I still grow flowers in it but it's getting hard looking so I want to fix it up a little, make it look pretty. What, what do you grow in it? I grow uh, perennials and annuals for my garden. Jillian? What did you put on your bucket list? A uh, trip to Cuba. <laughs> a bunch of my friends are going down next year, so it would be nice to go be able to go with them. That would be, be awesome. Yeah. Santa, is my son going to get anything this year? Yes, he is. He's been a good boy. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> I heard you've been good, too. <laughs> what do you think of the idea of giving people a chance to get their bucket list? Sold? Awesome. Awesome. They should. Everybody should get their bucket list or their list. And what's good? My name's Heather Ogg, and uh, I work for Technomedia, and our company has been doing the marketing for Richard and the bucket list program and uh, arranging the party, and um, it's been fantastic. So, where did you start? Uh, with the party? Yeah, with the party. Like, was it just an idea or...? Uh, you know, truthfully, like, uh, Richard came in and we were talking about a Christmas party, but I went to the Yoko Ono uh, John Lennon uh, uh, Wish Tree exhibit in Montreal years ago, and I got the idea from Yoko Ono, and she does wish trees, and it's just where it sort of started in a conversation, and we thought it would be awesome to bring and do here. <laughs> yeah, <that's, that's> <laughs> poor Heather hasn't done anything else since. <laughs> The whole, the whole, <laughs> the whole time, for the last two weeks, for the last two weeks, she's been, she's been dreaming and having nightmares about the bucket list program. <laughs> no, 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 it's been good. It's been really fun, really, really, really fun. Yep. The limo's outside. The limo's here. Hey, come on over. How was the limo ride? It was great. Great. The lights are beautiful. Could you say your name and where you're from? Hi, well, my name is Darlene Lacroix. I live in Summerside. Okay, what did you put on your bucket list? Um, one thing that I've always dreamed about doing is going to Europe. I've never been there before, so that's, that's on my bucket list. That's my number one. <laughs> why, why Europe? I've always wanted to go to Italy, and I want to see Rome and Pompeii. It's just places I've always wanted to visit. Could you say your name? My name is Ray Alacqua. What did you put on your bucket list? I put, well, it's close, Mediterranean cruise. Again, it's Europe. We want to go to Europe and we like to see uh, culturally different places and architecture and history and food. Hi, I'm Granger McPhail and I own Twilight Limousine Service here and it's our pleasure this evening to be running for the bucket uh, list of dreams here for Richard P. Harvey and this is our driver, Barb uh, Godfrey. Barb. Uh, yeah, hi. I'm Barb Godfrey and I work for Granger for Twilight Limo and we're just uh, driving people around in the bucket list and showing them the Christmas lights. So how did you get involved? Uh, Richard called us and asked us if we would like to be involved in this and it was, um, he hired us for, for the evening and uh, it's just been uh, a pleasure doing the tour of Charlottetown and Government House. What do you think of people getting the chance at going or accomplishing their bucket list dream? Yeah, it was just fantastic tonight. Each load we had in there it was just remarkable, listening to people and excitement and the whole thing. They're excited with this. They're excited. A lot of people first time in the limo, and it was a, a nice treat for them. They really, really enjoyed it. I was uh, pleased to hear that, and they're very excited about the bucket list program. Of course, we're out driving them, so we're not as aware as much as what's happening inside, but we know the excitement when we're driving is just phenomenal. So. 
So what would you buy with $1,200? What would I buy with $1,200? Well, I guess I would take care of my wife's Christmas gift. <laughs> Prob probably be a trip to, uh, to uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. Hi there, what's your name? Karen Gravesh, and it's to um, have money for my daughter's driver's ed. Because it's expensive. <laughs> Want to go to Dallas to Dallas Cowboys. Football. Oh, to watch football. Yes. Nice. Good luck. Thank you. What's on your bucket list? My name is Heather, and my bucket list would be I would be lovely to see my niece. Um, just had a new baby, and she lives in Kentucky, and I would love to go see her and and the the new addition. My bucket list is I want to go to Dallas and watch the Cowboys play football. <laughs> yeah, I do. Are you guys going to go together? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or I'll send my brother one one or the other. <laughs> That's great. Thank yeah. you. My name is Christine. And what did you put on your bucket list? I put a tour of Italy. It's been something I've wanted to do for a long time, so hopefully I'll get there someday. Why did you choose Italy? I just, well, it all stems from working with Italian people and just wonderful people, love the food, and just really want to go to where they came from and see everything they told me about that I haven't gotten to see in person, or so looking forward to hopefully doing that someday. I put uh, to tour uh, Europe. Um, no, no words in particular, but certainly uh, Italy would be one one place I'd like to go. But I'd like to see Spain, Portugal, um, United Kingdom. There's a lot of areas I'd love to see over over the next uh, number of years. Uh, my name is Joel Steves. I'm from Moncton, New Brunswick. What did you put on your bucket list? Uh, I'd like to have an all-inclusive trip down south. It's been something I've wanted to do for a while, so... Yeah. Why so? Uh, it's good to just relax. It's warm all the time, nice weather, and I just love spending time on the beach anyway, so it's... Yeah. David, and I'm from Stratford. Uh, I wish to go to Las Vegas, and just because it's always been somewhere I wanted to go and something to do. It's not, there's a lot of nightlife there, and so... What do you think of this event and people getting the opportunity to write down a wish and maybe get it? Oh, I think it's great. It's, you know, it gives people opportunity to do something that they don't have a chance to do. Hi, my name's Norma, and I put on the top of my list a trip to Austria. And I have no idea why, it just popped into my head on the way down. And I thought it would be beautiful to see Austria and to attend a show in Vienna. And so here's hoping that my bucket list wish will come true. We all have wishes, we have ideas, but we don't write them down. And uh, writing it down makes it seem more real that it's possible to attain. And so I think everybody should attend a bucket list party and write down their wishes and it just makes us think about things that we'd like to do. So I think it's great. Great fun. Great party. That's great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I'm Irene Trainer, and my trip for two is to Costa Rica and why it's been on my bucket list. I didn't get to do it last year and it's on my to-do, so that's that. Hi, my name is Farrah McFarish and I would love a new living room set. Why? Well, I had a one-year-old last year and I just have been continuing to put it off. <laughs> well, obviously. And uh, I don't know, it's just something I really want. My name is Brenna Vesey and my dream would be to visit Australia, play with the koalas. Hi, I'm Kathleen Saunders and I picked to uh, go on a honeymoon to Mexico with my husband because we didn't get to go on a honeymoon. <laughs> oh wow, do you both want to go to Mexico? Well, I'm sure he'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Why Mexico? Uh, just that's where the sun and the sand is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.
My name is Jerrica DeVos, and on my list it was our first family vacation. Yeah. Where to? It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, I'd like to go somewhere down south, somewhere hot. Yeah. Out of Canada, just because we've never really been. Uh, my name's Jacob, and I wanted to build a house. <laughs> yeah. It's a long term bucket list. Yeah, it's eventually. That's what I want to do, so. Uh, Kimberly Roberts, and I'm here uh, to support Ann and Richard and uh, find out about the bucket list program. I hear it's wonderful, and I'm very excited about it. Did you make a wish? I did. What was it? Uh, to swim at the bottom of a waterfall <laughs> down south. What do you think about people getting an opportunity to make a wish and maybe get it? <laughs> I think it's very touching, very generous. Um, it's going to make somebody very happy. Uh, it's a heartfelt thing to do. Very caring people. My name is Sherry and I um, asked for a trip to Disney World for my family. <laughs> Why Disney World? Um, I've been there once. My family hasn't been there. It's lots of fun. It's, yeah, I'd just love to go back. Yeah. My name is Olga Shanahan and I, m on my bucket list was a uh, spa day with my two daughters and myself. That sounds lovely. <laughs> I thought so too. <laughs> what the best part of a spa day for you would be? Just the relaxation and spending time with the girls. Yeah. Oh my love. <laughs> my name is Corey and <laughs> for many, many years I've always wanted to go to, go to New Zealand uh, to see the wonderful countryside. Uh, I'm a big fan of the country and uh, be a place I always like to visit. First and foremost, yeah. Why New Zealand? Of all places, I don't know. It just really stuck in my mind uh, to be the first place overseas that I would go. <laughs> what do you think of this idea? It's neat. Yeah, it's cool. That's the first time I've ever heard of it. But yeah, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, get everyone's ideas. I'm sure it's very, very random, some things. Turn out. How many people? 200 people showed up. I wish to go to Italy. 
Janet Fisher from Janet.Fisher at uh, so on so on. We have her phone number too. Yes? It's Richard Harvey calling from the Bucket List program. Oh, yes. Do you know who I am? Yes, yes, I'm there this evening. Were you there this evening? Uh, I was. Did you go in the limo drive? I did. I want to confirm that you did put down that you want to go to Italy on your bucket list. I did. You did? I did. Well, guess what? No. What? <laughs> I must uh, inform you that you're the winner. Oh, that's wonderful. Wow, well, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Are you in bed? <laughs> no, no, we're just taking a rest while day work. Yeah. <laughs> when are you planning to go to Italy? Oh gosh, I don't know. Next fall, maybe. Just a thought. Well, that's we that, that's great. The longer you delay it, the longer I have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, well we'll be in touch, I suppose, eh? We'll be in touch with you uh, very shortly. Okay. A and um, congratulations again. <laughs> And uh, okay. everybody else is uh, happy for you, sort of. Okay, thank you. <laughs> good night. Okay, good night. Go straight to bed now, eh? <laughs>